Hey guys, Raj Sanger of Car Day Security. Welcome to another episode of Raj's Garage. And today we'll be talking about my F87 M2 competition. Okay, so why an M2 competition? Well, before I purchased this car, I ran an M4 F series M4 for nearly three years. That was a fantastic car, M4 Coupe. Um, on the back of using the M4 Coupe for the business, we sold so many airlift suspension kits, rotiform wheels, audio setups, security setups. That car sort of hit the three year mark and I thought, let's move it out, let's jump into something else. The M2 competition had just been released and I thought, you know what? Let's jump into one of these cars. Let's see what this car is about. And also, can we use this car to promote airlift suspension and wheels for the one and the two series? Okay, so this was delivered to us in April 2019, brand new uh, M2 Comp in Hockenheim Silver. Yes, it is silver, although it looks a little bit whitey gray. It is called Hockenheim Silver. And uh, I've got to say what a fantastic car it's been. Replaced the M4, so it's uh, big boots to fill, and it has filled those boots exceptionally well. So what have we done to this car? Well, before we talk about what we've done to this car, let's talk about how the car was delivered to us from BMW, and then we'll go through the list of modifications. Okay, so the car was delivered in fairly basic spec. I didn't want to go crazy with electric seats and keyless entry and so on. I wanted fairly basic spec wanted to track the car as well, so hence why I went for basic spec. Now, let's start with the front and give you an idea of some of the modifications we've done out of the box. Within a couple of weeks of the car being delivered, we ordered from BMW Direct all the carbon bits. So you've got carbon lower diffuser there, which is one piece that runs along the bottom of the lower bumper. We've also got the carbon surround around the grille. These are all genuine BMW performance parts. If you come along the side, we've got the little carbon bit around the M2 logo on each side of the wing. Winglets here, they look fantastic. Along the back, we've obviously got the rear deck lid spoiler, and we've got the carbon surround around the exhaust tail tips. Now, I've got to say, these carbon bits really set the car off nicely. Now, these are, as I said, genuine BMW parts. They're not cheap. There are cheaper variants available now, two years on, two and a half years on after uh, I've purchased this car. And we do stock them on the tuning store, so have a look on there. Now, whilst we're here, let's talk about the exhaust, because that is not a stock exhaust. So this is the Acropovic slip-on exhaust system made from titanium. Offers a reduction in exhaust weight by about 45%. You've got the matte carbon fiber tailpipes, really transforms the exhaust note and the driving pleasure of the car. We can give you a demo of that. Now, this exhaust is not cheap. 4,100 pounds, give or take retail. That's not cheap, that's a lot of money. Um, there are cheaper variants out there, but we believe that Acropovic is probably the best slip-on exhaust system you can get for the M2 Comp and probably for the M3 and M4s. You can see clearly that this car is slammed. Yes, it's slammed on airlift 3H suspension. Now there's nothing wrong with the M2 competition suspension. BMW spent millions of pounds manufacturing, doing R&D, and you know what, it is great suspension. But we sell airlift suspension, we showcased it on the M4, we sell loads of kits. We thought, let's showcase it on the best two series that you could buy at that time, which is the M2 Comp. And the suspension that we have on this is very similar setup to the one series. It, fits all two series variants so that's why 
we uh, fitted airlift suspension. Now, some of you guys will think, the purists will think, why have you done that? Well, we're showcasing products that we sell. So yes, we've changed the suspension, and in two and a half years, we have sold a lot of suspension on the back of that, and we also changed the wheels. This came with the comp wheels. Uh, at the moment, it's sitting on possibly my third set of rotiforms. So these are 20 inch OZRs. So on the back, you have 20 by 10 and a half, uh, rotiform OZRs. On the front, you've got 20 by nine. The tires are Nankangs, 275-30 on the rear and 245-30 on the front. Previously, I ran BUCMs, that's rotiform BUCMs on the car. We'll throw a picture up. Now, I prefer the OZRs, that's what these are. Which ones do you like? You know, at the end of the day, everyone's tastes and opinions are different. Let's have a look at the interior, shall we? Now, you've got these gorgeous M2 or M Performance bucket seats, Alcantara on the side, leather in the middle, and you've got that M Performance steering wheel. I opted for the DCT uh, gearbox. There is a manual variant available. I prefer the DCT. Um, nice, compact cabin, typical BMW build quality. Let's also show you the uh, F87 M Power engine bay. Here we go. Now, yes, it's a little bit groggy and grimy. Car's done 12,000 miles. Should really have cleaned it beforehand, but at least it shows you that we do use this vehicle. That's 12,000 miles, of which 11,000 have been done on the airlift suspension. Okay, so this is a twin turbo inline six cylinder petrol engine pushing out about 410 brake horsepower. That differs from the original M2 engine, uh, which had about 365 brake horsepower. It's actually the same engine, which is in the F series M3, M4 cars, um, slightly detuned. Um, there's a little bit of a weight increase on this car over the original M2. So the additional brake horsepower doesn't make much difference in terms of performance. I think it's time we went for a drive. I've waffled on enough and you're thinking, Raj, get in that car, show us what it goes like and let's hear it. So you know what? Let's get in the car. Let's go for a drive. Right, so what's this car like to drive? An absolute joy. It's currently in auto mode. Now, if you put it into manual mode, flappy paddle mode, this thing is an animal. It is super quick, and those gear changes, super quick as well. And the brakes, enough stopping power. Bear in mind, these are the standard stop brakes. I didn't go for the upgrade brakes. This is a very quick car. It's a usable daily. You know, with the DCT box, you can hoon around, you get stuck in traffic, it's fine. You don't have to have a strong uh, calf muscle to keep constantly changing gear. But when you've got an open stretch of road and you want to give it some beans, you can go into manual mode and you can go into manual berserk mode. Absolutely love this car. Now, obviously I have upgraded the exhaust system. Okay, the Acropovic exhaust, to open the valves, there is an optional remote control you can buy. You press the button, the valves open. We have that remote, but we've also programmed the M1 button on the steering wheel to open the valves on the exhaust. So valves are now open and you can see straight away totally different exhaust note lovely sort of burble from that exhaust uh, and when you give it beans changing gear absolutely brilliant Let's compare it to my M4. Well, the M4 is a heavier car and you can feel that. 
the M2 is a little bit more agile. It changes direction so aggressively, super quick compared to the M4. I think stock-wise, the M4, the ex exhaust note was that was a little bit better. Um, but in terms of power delivery, I think this is as good as, if not as quick as, my uh, M4. Do I miss the M4? No, not really. I think with the M2 and especially the M2 Comp, they've created the M4 in a smaller package and at a lower price point. Uh, you know, I can't recall exactly what my M4 cost, but I think it was somewhere around 65K with all the toys and bells and whistles. This car brand new was 53,000 pound. That's without the carbon bits that we added on separately. Now, obviously I've not spoken about the suspension, but you've seen me giving the car some beans. It handles exceptionally well. As good as the stock M2 uh, competition suspension? I think so. Obviously the improvement is that I can drive super low without damaging any of the undercarriage. And you know, it's fairly compliant. Yes, you still do feel every bump and undulation in the road. That is typical BMW M car. Uh, other than that, I've got to say, airlift suspension on an M car, great move. Okay guys, there we have it. My BMW M2 Comp on airlift 3.8 suspension. So what are the plans for this car? Well, it's nearly three years old this car and I always said to myself, when it hits that three year mark, I need to move it on and get something else to promote everything that we sell at uh, Car Discurity and the tuning store. So I think the time may have come for me to consider moving this car on. But what do I get into next? Well. The G series, the M3s and the M4s. I know there are conflicting reviews. Some people don't like the front, some people do. You know, I'm sort of on the fence, but um, as a car, it's fantastic. And with the new uh, G series M3 X drive coming out in 2022, I think it might be time to jump into one of those. So I might have to make a call to BMW Berry at some point and start talking uh, numbers. Um, now, we've just done a run of four videos on my M cars, E30 M3 Coupe, E30 M3 Convertible, the Motorsport 635 CSI, and obviously the M2 Comp. The next four episodes, we're gonna return back to Porsche. And in fact, the next two episodes are gonna be my turbos, the 993 Turbo and the 964 Turbo. Um, so watch out for them. As always, like, that's very important. Comment, any questions you have, be it about the car, the wheels, uh, the suspension setup, just throw your questions down below. You've got our contact details at the end of this episode as well. Uh, share and subscribe to the channel. I will be back, but I'll be back in my Porsches. See you soon.